Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing fine. Today I wanted to share this video which is a continuation to my previous one. So in my last video I had shared about how you can express your emotions. It could be the denser ones which are the negative emotions and the lighter ones which are the positive emotions with the help of therapeutic art. In that particular video, I had shared one uh, such artwork that I had done in my own experience, uh, which depicted anger. So today I wanted to elaborate on that particular artwork a little bit more as to how you can actually transform your negative emotions that you're feeling into something which is more directed towards positivity, towards what you can do in order to be able to overcome this heaviness or the denseness of the negative emotion that you're experiencing. Let's get started. All right, so the artwork that I am using as the reference for this video is this. This is the artwork. So if you remember, um, I had shared this uh, artwork in my previous video depicting my anger. I mean, whenever I had drawn this uh, artwork, I, I believe it was uh, two years back or something like that. So two years or one years, I don't exactly recall. Anyway, so um, this uh, artwork, when I had done in that particular moment, it was my experience of anger that you know, I uh, depicted here through this artwork and the cause of the anger was my kindness being taken advantage of. I have experienced my kindness uh, being taken for granted or being taken for, uh, being taken, you know, uh, advantage of uh, in several occasions. So I was obviously experiencing anger as a response to you know those events that uh, have happened with me so this is the depiction of that artwork if you see there are a lot of reds orange and yellows okay so the colors red orange yellow most definitely when we think about the emotion of anger it brings forward this sensations of you know something that burns you know something that is give that gives us this experience of a burning sensation that you know you're literally getting fired up with anger and that's the reason why it is it's associated with fire right uh, and the color of fire uh, as the colors associated with fire are uh, oranges reds and yellows so when i was experiencing this uh, emotion uh, these were the colors that, you know, really came to my mind and I put uh, forward, I put forth those emotional experience in, in those colors with the help of those colors. Now, my question here is, does the color red, do the colors orange, yellow, are they always associated with the emotion of anger? The answer to that is no. The colors red, orange, yellow, they can also have meanings such as courage, confidence, vitality, energy, passion. So immediately after doing this artwork, I did an exercise with myself, which I want to share with you all today. Okay, I have drawn this emotion, what now, what next, right? What do I do with it? So the major positive effect that therapeutic art has on us is its transformative power. When we experience the emotion on paper, definitely we are releasing it, okay? So then definitely there is a lightness, the density is, light, is lightening up, which means that we can think more clearly, okay? So then I asked myself, if I am angry about this particular situation having happened in my life, what can I do about it? What is this emotion trying to bring forth within me? 
So then I literally wrote down some points. First, I wrote down the, you know, the cause that uh, made me angry, that, you know, evoked the response of anger within myself. So which most definitely is that me, my uh, kindness being taken advantage of. So what is this emotion trying to teach me? I asked myself. I, I answered this, that it is not a right thing to take advantage of other people's kindness or whatever. It's, it's not a right thing to take advantage of other people, right? So then if that is the learning, then what can I do about it? So that's the answer to that which came to my mind was that I as a human being would never take advantage of anybody else's kindness. That's it. Of course, that is something which I always uh, have followed in my life. But still, since I have experienced certain negative things in my life, there is definite meaning to, to that, right? I cannot just ignore the negativities that have happened in my life, right? So what do I do with that? What is the universe trying to teach me? So this is the reason why we are doing this, yeah? So then it was a determination for, for myself that, yes, there are, you know, uh, situations where there are behaviors that we don't want in other people or even in ourselves. So I determined to myself that I must not be the person who is taking advantage of somebody else's kindness. The other learning that I took forward from this experience is to have boundaries. Now, boundaries have sometimes make us, uh, do, they, they sometimes make us feel a little negative. Like as if like we need to protect our boundaries, protect our peace, uh, you know, uh, we must have heard things like that. But here's how I think about boundaries. Boundaries are, yes, they do keep us protected from things that we don't want to experience. But if we look at boundaries from the higher perspective, then boundaries are actually very beautiful for both ourselves and others. We hold boundaries out of respect for ourselves and others. Taking this example itself, I wouldn't want to be unkind to someone by taking advantage of their kindness, right? That was my first learning. So my second learning might as well be that I must have strong boundaries as to how I, you know, interact with people, where I say yes to, who I say no to, why I say no to, how do I communicate my boundaries to others, whether I'm doing it with a sense of fear or am I doing it from the sense of respect for myself, my time, my energy and respect for the other people, other person. Yeah. And why am I doing that? Because I respect the other person as much as I respect myself. Why? If someone, I realize that this person is taking advantage of my kindness, if I have that intuitive nudge or, or if I know that um, if I say yes to this or uh, if I agree to what this person is saying, then it is not going to be good for me, then what I would do from thinking from the higher mind is that I would not allow that person to do this. Not because it protects me, but it protects them. I don't want them to create some kind of negative cause in their life by making the choice of hurting me. I would not be hurt. That's a different thing. I would not take that experience at all. But I would also not allow this person to do something wrong not just to me to anybody else because that is not good for them this is how we can compassionately hold boundaries for ourselves boundaries are very beautiful they are very respectful um, if we think about them in that perspective 
there are reasons why we have to say yes to some things there are reasons where we have to where we, we will have to say no to some things yeah and there is nothing wrong to say no to things if you have to say no to them so don't hold resentment against someone because someone is acting unkind to you ask yourself what are you doing so that this person is choosing to be unkind with you where are your boundaries yeah and hold boundaries not only because you want to protect yourself but also for the reason that you want to protect the other person you don't want that person to keep creating a negative karma in their life this is a compassionate way of having boundaries the next thing that i did was i looked up at the painting that i had uh, created again and looked at it with a different set of eyes i asked myself how can i transform the meaning of this painting altogether now this is the most interesting and perhaps the most challenging part but if you have got the first two sections right what were you ang angry about what is this trying to teach you and what can you do about it then i think this fourth step becomes easier to do i looked at my artwork and i said to myself the reds the yellows and the oranges is my passion passion for what for sharing this with the world for sharing my learnings with the world and this is exactly what i am what i do now all that i have you know my healing journey that i have experienced in the past 5 to 6 years i am here sharing all that with you all and with that passion the the same intensity of passion which was the same intensity of anger if my anger was that intense my passion also should be that intense that is going to give a positive direction to the negative emotion that i have experienced so it is my it is in my power that what meaning i give to my artwork next which means what meaning do i give to my life next isn't that beautiful i also thought about other you know um, qualities when i again re looked at this painting i needed a lot of courage to share this is these are very vulnerable moments that you usually don't uh, you know we do, we don't feel like sharing this with everyone but i know that this is this has a greater meaning all that i have experienced in my life the emotions that i have experienced in my life all of this what if i can share this in order to make a positive impact in the world so and that takes courage so i uh, associated the color red with the energy that i share in my videos or the message messages that i have to share with the world that intensity the passion the courage the energy yeah and the confidence yellow stands for confidence so with this video and this exhibit what i wanted to share with you is this that yes on a day to day life we have experiences different you know shades of emotions we experience uh, within a single day it's quite possible and it's quite natural normal for humans that's why we are here born as human beings we are spiritual beings born as humans right we are experiencing this human um, existence right so emotions are a natural normal part of it but emotions are our education educators you know so if we can look at our emotions on a day to day basis have a you know have a daily practice uh, maybe use therapeutic art as a daily practice for personal reflection you know what all things that i have experienced in my life uh, in my world uh, today with my different interactions with different people that i have today at the end of the day before going to bed just reflect on that make some art about it and ask yourself what are the things that i have got to learn about myself through throughout the day and let your artwork be your guide let your artwork be your friend 
friend, philosopher, and guide. Yeah, that's that's what I treat all my therapeutic art as, all my artwork as, for that matter. Yeah. So with this, I would like to end this video. If you have any questions, queries, uh, suggestions, comments, please drop them in the comment box. I would love to go through them, uh, and I would love to try answering your queries at the best of my ability. So thank you for listening uh, to this video. Please. Uh, consider sharing this with people uh, that you know matter to you so that you know many other people get to understand you know this the benefit that therapeutic art has on our daily lives yeah and uh, in case any one of you uh, would like to have a one on one session with me uh, with the help of therapeutic art as a creative wellness coach i help you to Get to know yourself better through your daily life experiences and lead a healthier, happier, more fulfilled life which is directed towards your personal growth, happiness and well-being. Yeah. So please write to lifecoachtiara at gmail.com uh, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. I'm also open for group workshops. Yeah. So thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Keep creating. Bye-bye.